however long we've got left. The main thing is to to live it um, to live it as human beings and do the right things, right? Let's sing. Please mute yourselves. We can talk a bit more a bit later. The first song I've chosen is by Zhenya Lapatnik, who is originally from Kharkov. I met her in St. Petersburg in Russian class fests, and then we met a few times in Kiev and in Kharkov in, your, in her hometown. Now she lives in America safely. But her band, the Kharkov Klezma band, are now in hiding uh, in corridors and in... Uh, um, what are they called? The underground subway stations hiding. But this is her song. And it's composed to uh, the poem by um, Avron Zutzkever. And a lot of you know the tune. The tune goes like this. Um, 
would love uh, for everyone to understand what these songs mean. So could anyone please read us the English translation? Because we have people here from not from the Yiddish circles, from the Russian circles. Please, anyone can beautifully read this for us. Who will last and what will last? A breeze, a blind man's blindness when he's passed. Sea sign, strand of foam, a cloud caught up on its way home. Who will last and what will last? A single sound, creation grasped, greening and unbound. A fiddle rose stands tall, seven grasses of the grasses will understand it all. More than all the stars north strewn down to here, a star will last that falls into nothing but a tear. In its jug, a drop of wine stands true. Who will last? God will last. Not enough for you? Thank you, Ben. Well, God or whatever you call it, something greater, I guess. So we're going towards our next, moving towards our next song. And let's see what this is. I think it's the Rioch. Now, a lot of us know the song. Let me just see how many of you are familiar with it. Show of hands, the Rioch. Yeah, this is quite a wordy song. I would like someone to read us the translation, please. It's uh, originally a Catalan song, um, a resistance song from the Catalan region. And uh, Yuri Vidinyapin, uh, who is a Yiddishist, um, originally from Russia, and he lived in Israel, and then now he lives in, in Canada, I think. He translated it into Yiddish, and the Klasmatics have recorded this. And since then, the song has become close to our Yiddish hearts, as well as to Catalan hearts, I guess. So if anyone would like to uh, switch themselves on and jump in to reading this for us, please do. But we stood together, it was not yet day, a horse and wagon passed by, and I spoke with my grandfather. Can you not see on our backs that heavy iron yoke? We can't go, we can't fly, we got a bite and a string. Together we escape, be it an hour, a day, a week. Soon it will fall, 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 that rotten old yoke. If I pull from the middle and you pull from the side, soon it will fall, 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 and we will all be free. We've stood by for many years, worn down by the fissure. My strength is reduced. The yoke becomes all the more heavy. Although it's rotten and rusty and it grips us like pliers, but when I'm ready to fall, I hear my grandfather's song. My grandfather is long gone. His voice can no longer be heard. He was carried away by the wind and I remain here as before. As new youngsters pass by, I reach out my hand to them and sing for them my grandfather's song the same one he taught to me. Thank you very much. Uh, can I just say something about sure. the yoke? Sure. Um, I actually lived for a little while in Catalonia under Franco back in like 50 years ago in 1972. Right. So right. I, I had a lot of firsthand experience with, with all this. I had friends who were arrested for speaking Catalan with their students at the school and so on. But the yoke is, it's not just the, it's metaphorical, it's the yoke of the ox cart, but it's the yoke and arrows of the Franco regime. Right. So that's what they're talking about when they say it's heavy and it's rotten to the core and, and so on and so forth. It's both the physical yoke, you know, of, of the oxen mm -hmm. and the symbol of, of the regime. Judith, this is great. Thank you very much. An interesting note from you. And thank you for being here. Good to see you. I'm glad I could make it. Thank you. I've been so, singing, by the way, with the Ukrainian group here in Toronto. And yeah, uh, yeah, we're doing a lot of both singing and organizing for help and aid packages and so on. Wonderful, wonderful. OK, here we go. So it's quite texty. Um, just follow me as much as you can. The main thing is that. Ta -da 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 
Der 
Erwet Schoen Fallen sooner or later, sooner or later. Anything you want to say? Have a little breather. Immer fällt er. Er kommt zurück, aber wieder fällt er. Noch einmal. Danke, Jo. So ist das Leben. So ist das Leben. Yeah. I, I think singing that, song, song, that singing that song makes you feel better. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. And somebody else wanted to say, yeah, where are you? Uh, yes, I, it's Ami Goodman without a video uh, here. Hello, um, hello. Hi, I have this singable, uh, I, 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 we sing the song and we made up the, we adapted the English to be singable lyrics. I'll be glad to put that in the chat if people are interested. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I think I have one of these singable versions, but yes, please do. I know Cindy Paley has offered one in her workshops and we did another version too, almost the same. So thank you. Fantastic. So there is also, you know, Yuri Vidyanyapin has reworked his text and actually there is a the newer version of his Yiddish text. Um, that I think I put it in our on, on the on the web page. Uh, so you should have that one as well. Should you want to sing his updated version? Also, uh, I want to tell you something interesting. Last year, I was involved in a project, uh, in, a, in a caravan project in the, at Yiddish Summer Weimar, where we brought together um, young people, young musicians from Palestine, Israel, and Germany. It was based in Germany, but the, the, a lot of people came from Haifa. And there was like a collaborative project, musical project, uh, a political project, where these young people played together. And we sang that, and there was a beautiful... Um, Arabic version and there was um, a German version. There were six different languages mixed together. So I think this is one of these songs that can be translated and sung because it has a very powerful message musically and in terms of its text, right? So yes, please, please share with us. Yeah, yeah. Find printable music for today. Oh, the, the music for today is on the P Sing With Me page. If anyone could please quickly drop in the uh, link. It's basically Paulina Shepard, my website, and there is Sing With Me page. And I will keep it there today's, uh, because it's the last session, I'll keep the information for today's session there on the main page for a while. Yes, thank you very much. That's it, yeah? So all the sheets are there. If you would like a choral version, I have a soprano, alto, tenor, and bass version of this song. Write to me and I'll, I'll um, send that one to you. I see Olaf uh, nodding because he's helped me with, with a few <laughs> changes and fixes there. Next one. So here is a beautiful Ukrainian folk song that it's lyrical. It's um, it's a folk song as folk songs go. Um, you will know what it's about once we uh, maybe looked at it. The translation into Yiddish was done by uh, Yefim Chorny, whom a lot of you know. He lives in Moldova now. He, by the way, teaches Yiddish songs on Sundays, a, a wonderful class if you want to sing with him in Moldova online, obviously, and he translated it and dedicated it to Varnichke's folk, the ensemble, um, an ensemble who live in Lviv, Lemberg in Lviv, who organized Lviv Class Fest. Jill, I see you're nodding, you, you've met you've met them, right? You know them? So a lot of us know them, wonderful people, now uh, doing their best and really supporting each other. So um, they're in the, okay, um, who wants to read what it means? A little beautiful uh, translation. Anyone? In a glade near the Danube, a nightingale is singing. He's calling out to his family to the nest. Oh, tioi, 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 nightingale is singing. He's calling out to his family to the nest. In a glade near the Danube, some musicians are playing. The bass is honking, the fiddle is crying with beautiful trills. In a glade near the Danube, I am all alone. I'm crying and yearning for you, my love. Thank you, Julia. Ta -da -da -da. Oh, 
sein Weib und seine Kinder noch sein Nest obenter. Oi, zoch, zoch, i zoch, 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 sind der Solowiecik noch sein Weib und seine Kinder noch sein Nest just thinking my father escaped Kiev when the Second World War started he was one year old they were on the train the train was being bombed as they were on it they were getting off the train on the train off the train off the train for the bombing and then at the end his mother was so exhausted she said I don't care whether we're on the train or off the train hiding in the woods it's all the same I'm too tired and I hear these stories and I hear that my father escaped from Kiev his parents were from Odessa and Kiev and who knows I could have grown up in in Odessa and Kiev my grandfather my other grandfather was a Cossack of Don he was Ukrainian and here we go parts of my blood lines are kind of like people are punching each other it's it's really tragic it's really tragic it's families and brothers killing each other let's hope that we will learn this lesson I don't know when the pandemic didn't teach us a lesson Will this teach us a lesson with other wars in the world teach us lessons? I don't know. I don't know. Next. So, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Voltig uh, Koyer. Now, let me say a couple of words. Let me see. Most of us know this song, right? Most of us know this song. It's gone around the world as a kind of a peace song originally coming from the Hasidic culture but it was about Shabbos about Saturday the Holy Sabbath um, so um, Adrian Cooper a fantastic activist one of my teachers of Yiddish song um, changed uh, Shabbos to Sholem and because she was teaching it all around the world including us in in Russia and Ukraine people decided that would be a great song to translate to other languages. So that happened. Whenever that was sung in at festivals and 
all sorts of different gatherings of, of um, Yiddishists and on just generally. Whenever it was sung, usually there'd be a couple of languages squeezed in. There is a Hebrew version, there is a Portuguese version. There are lots of different versions. So, um, and we kept singing it and we kept singing it and we kept singing it. And here is the text as we know it traditionally. I mean, the new tradition of Yiddish singing. Walter Gerhard Koyach, Walter Geläufen in die Gassen, Walter Geschrigen Scholem, 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 Scholem. If my voice were louder, if my body was stronger, I would run, I would tear through the streets shouting peace, peace, peace. And once I was at uh, one of these festivals where Zalman Mlotek's son, Rabbi um, Avram Mlotek from New York, was uh, performing. And he performed a rap piece, a rap. He was speaking and he was like being all political and angry about things. And he inserted the song into his own song. And he sang it in a different way. And he sang it like this. Because I have power, because I'm strong, I will run through the streets. I must run through the streets and shout, peace, peace, peace. So um, my four choirs in Brighton and Hove uh, came together Hello, Brighton and Hove and London choir people. Great to see you. We came together and we sang this in two different languages here in Brighton. And we recorded it on the CD in Russian and, uh, and Yiddish. And Bethy, are you here to read your French translation? Where are you? Do I see you? No, I don't see Because somebody wrote yes, I'm here. Where are you? Where are you? Yes, speak, speak up, speak up. Oh. Yes, uh, I'm here. Hello. Yeah, we can see you now. Hello. Yeah. Uh, you want me to 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 pronounce or to sing the, the the French version I wrote? Sing the one you wrote. Sing it. Sing it to us. Okay. Please. Si ma voix était plus puissante, si mon corps avait la force. J'irai par les rues crier la paix, la paix, la paix. Mais nos voix sont puissantes et nos corps ont la force. Allons par les rues crier la paix, la paix, la paix. Thank you. So that's the version we would need to sing in other languages, in French. Yeah, and you're going to teach it to your choir as well, you said, yeah? Yes. Excellent, excellent. So people are commenting, there's lots of comments here. I'm, I'm not, I can't follow everything, but <laughs> please do share. There are lots of, yeah, there's Ladino, Turkish, Assyrian, French, and all sorts of other languages. So um, today I've added a different Russian version. Uh, you know what, before we do this, because we maybe we have a couple of people who don't know the song. Just hear the tune again. La 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 Then we have a beautiful niggan. Ya ba 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 ya ba 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 Ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 Ya ba 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 Here we go Weil ich hab koyer Weil ich lauf an in die Gassen Darf ich schreien schollen Schollen, schollen, schollen в сердце моем есть сила, с телом и духом смелым я побегу по миру с криком мир, 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 
today's session, I hope you don't mind us going a bit longer, is the Zukunft, which is the future. Since I first heard it, it's given me, I don't know, I don't know if it's positivity, it's certainly given me strength. I don't know if I believe in what it says, if I have hopes, I would love to. <sighs> we go up a semitone in each part of the verse in each four lines here. So just follow me. The main tune is this. Oh wait, we need to read it, don't we? Who wants to read the English translation, please? I'll try again if anybody doesn't mind listening. Thank you. Oh, the world will grow younger and life will be easier. Every complainer will become a singer soon, brothers. Only let the people become wiser and chase away the traitor, the fox and the tiger too, from their beautiful forest. Oh, the world will become more beautiful. Love will grow greater, hatred less between wives and husbands, between countries. Oh, the world will become freer, more just, younger, newer and in it, the truth will be valued valued as a friend oh the world will get bolder and there will be no master not the crown nor the purse nor the soldier's sword so let's have courage in the ranks to free our old world thank you
Um, have you thought about what these the tiger and the fox are they symbols of the uh, oppressive regime? Um, I was always conf uh, wondering about that. I don't know my personal interpretation, and it's just my personal interpretation. I don't know if there are specific symbols. The tiger to me is an aggressor, and the fox is something that's sly and that hides and goes exactly. like this. That's what I think, but I don't know. Well, if anyone else, too. anyone that's else has any ideas, please uh, jump in. Yes, I agree. And that's the Ukrainian folkloric figure also, right? Lise Makita, mm -hmm. the sly fox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Russian. Thanks, Eve. Yep. Okay, anyone else wants to say anything? We have a couple of minutes before I have to go to a meeting. <laughs> so the fox, the Mikita becomes Nikita in Russian with an N? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's the M in Ukrainian. Yeah. So, uh, yep, go on. One word, Lina, um, a variant um, very much dedicated to you on the old Jewish um, statement, they tried to kill us, they failed, let's eat. <laughs> I, think, I think in this case, it's they're trying to kill us, they'll fail, let's eat. 
<laughs> Thank you, Jill. No, no, let's sing. Let's let's sing. And um, here is to, I don't know, unity between those who can, those who think, those who carry the light in whichever circumstances. Thank, yep. Thank you very much for joining me and sing with me today and all the other times. And Here's keep the next. singing. Thank you. Singing. And thank you very much for all the support. I'm transferring the money to a humanitarian uh, Ukrainian charity today. Uh, there, are, there are lots of links to where you can personally transfer money if you choose to do so. And that's, that's also great. Thank you very much. And thank you, Paulina. Thank you. And you're not Bye. planning to do Sing With Me for the moment, I understand. Um, not until summer and maybe end of next year. Maybe we'll have an occasional um, reunion. Follow my newsletter. Newsletter. All right? Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.